Hey guys, uh, it's General Heat here, and we got a, another classic revisit from Halo 3. This time it is the anti-gravity glitch. So, um, to do this, uh, just do it on any map. I like to do this on Sand Trap. But, what you do is spawn a vehicle, uh, usually a vehicle that can fly pretty well. Um, and you want to set the respawn rate to 10, 10 seconds. And then change the runtime minimum to match the runtime maximum, which in this case is one. After that, just get in the vehicle and drive it forward a little bit, but not too much, doesn't matter. Uh, and then go back to where you um, spawned it. Look for the little like spawn marker. Uh, if you don't see it, just switch back from forge to spawn mode. It should show up again. So spawn another ghost and place it um, pretty much right where you had it the first time. Um, doesn't have to be perfectly exact, but try to get as close as possible. And then set the respawn rate on this one to 180. And then once again, make the runtime minimum the same as the maximum, which should now be 2. After that, all you gotta do is just um, destroy the other ghost, the first one. And then after that, uh, immediately destroy the second one. Alright, now once they're both destroyed, um, just simply wait a few seconds for the first one to respawn. And once it does respawn, get into it right away. It shouldn't take long to spawn. Um, yep, there it is. Uh, but once it spawns, you do want to get in pretty quickly. You don't want the other one to spawn on top of that one. Alright, so once uh, that is done, whoever wants to drive the anti-gravity vehicle should get in that ghost. This is the one that will um, be affected by the anti-gravity glitch. So next, you gotta wait for the other one to respawn, and to make the first ghost um, affected, all you gotta do is just pick this one up, and the other ghost uh, loses all gravity. <clears throat> and once you let go of this one, uh, that ghost will uh, return to normal until you pick it up again. So basically, when you do this glitch, the uh, two vehicles are linked. Uh, there was another way to do this. Um, with like a grenade or other objects. I don't remember how to do it that way, but this is the way I remember how to do it, so I mean, it doesn't really make a difference. But as you can see, once you pick it up, uh, you can get pretty good air because you don't have gravity. The best way to do this is pretty much um, <clears throat> uh, to boost your ghost up on a, uh, like a ledge or something, and once you fly in the air, pick it up at the same time so that you get the best air. Now then, let me uh, let me show you from my perspective. Fortunately, this is one glitch where um, you can switch around pretty easily without having to restart it. So here I am, just went off the uh, ramp there, and we are flying. And this glitch will work with the uh, Master Chief Collection. Actually, this was filmed on the Master Chief Collection. But yeah, so. This will work just fine. And like I said, this will uh, affect any vehicle. It um, doesn't have to be a ghost. But like I said, you get the best results when you um, use a vehicle that you can boost. Or at least a vehicle that can get pretty good air. A Warthog would work pretty well too. A Scorpion tank probably would not work well. It's too slow to get any good air. I mean, you might be able to get to like float around a little bit, but that's about it. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, oh, it also works with um, air vehicles like banshees and hornets. But because those vehicles are like self-propelled the entire time, it doesn't. You won't really notice the effects. It will just affect your flying a little bit. But if you do get out of the banshee or hornet, then um, they'll just float around. But other than that. Uh, that's about it for the effects. Uh, I wish I tried. I wish it was a way to do with the elephant, um, but I'm not sure there is. And even even if there was, the elephant doesn't really get much air. <laughs> but it might be possible. There was like a modded map on the original Halo Three where you could spawn elephants, but I don't have it anymore, and I'm not sure if I can still get it. If anyone has that modded map on Halo Three where you could forge elephants, let me know and. Um, maybe we could try it out on a 360 version. 
I think that'd be pretty cool if we could do with the elephants. But, you know. So just, you know, post in the comments if you have that map. And uh, let me know your gamer tag too if you do have it. But right now, um, before we end this, let me show you with the Wraith. So same thing. Respawn rate 10 seconds. Runtime minimum the same as the maximum. And then drive the Wraith forward. I think I drove, I mean, I don't know if this, like, if you drive it too much, it'll break it, but you really don't have to drive it that far at all. I overdid it, but it should still work. But yeah, second Wraith, free spawn rate of 180, runtime minimum, the same as the maximum. Destroy the first Wraith. This will probably take a couple more shots with the Spartan laser. <coughs> Yep, there we go. Now destroy the second wraith. I think I picked a pretty bad angle here to shoot it. Because it took actually a few shots with the Spartan laser to destroy it. Plus a couple grenades from my friend over there. There we go. So now we wait. Now while we wait, I do want to mention that I'm actually this is actually um it kind of did surprise me that this glitch still worked on uh, the Master Chief Collection. Uh, there's actually a lot of, quite a few Halo 3 glitches that don't work anymore on the Master Chief Collection. And you'll see them in upcoming uh, revisit videos. I'm not going to spoil them just yet, but this one actually still does work. And I was going to use this glitch at one point to film a uh, machinima. Um, I was going to film something like, some something similar to Inception. The movie. Uh, if you guys ever saw the movie, there was that one scene where, um, uh, in like one of the dreams, uh, like their van like went off the edge, and then everything became zero gravity, in the uh, in like a deeper dream. And I wanted to do something like that with uh, Halo Three, where um, <clears throat> uh, like the ghost or like some kind of vehicle, like in one layer falls off, and then in another layer of the dream, everything becomes anti gravity. I thought it would have been pretty cool, but I never actually filmed the machinima. Never had the time. But anyways, here we go. So just want to get some good air with the Wraith. And my friend picked it up. And we are flying. It doesn't really matter how heavy the vehicle is. Just once you get air, then you are pretty much good. And your vehicle will pretty much fly away just as fast as any other vehicle weight doesn't matter <clears throat> but yeah if your vehicle gets stuck um, it's like it's actually hard to move maneuver sometimes especially once you hit the barrier uh, your friend can move the other wraith around and use it to push you around if they want they don't have to be stationary over there anyways um, yeah I hope you enjoy this glitch and you do need two people to do this glitch, uh, just a quick note. Uh, oh, and once you're <laughs> let go, you do fall down pretty quickly sometimes. Fast enough to like destroy your vehicle. So do be careful with that. But yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this, and we have a lot more revisits coming. Some very interesting ones too, just like this. So make sure you do stay tuned and subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.